This is Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You or ye cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. So before I continue with this lesson, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother lawyer, and I teach with the Great Millstone Nashville camp. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Come back with a quick lesson. And this lesson will be entitled, Kendrick Lamar, You Cannot Serve Two Masters. All right? So as you've seen, or you, you, you may have not seen, uh, he had did a performance in uh, Glastonbury. All right? And he had the crown of thorns put upon his head, which I think I believe is like diamonds. He had the fake blood, you know, uh, pouring out his head. Which is really him, uh, you know, mocking the Messiah, all right? And, of course, you see what he's throwing up. I forgot what that's, that's called, the, uh, the my, my, uh, my noose. What's it called? It's like, let me, let me look it up real quick. All right, so, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's called the minutos or something like that. Um, uh, I, I believe it's in Latin. Elder Apostle Gabar, he knows a lot about that. But uh, let, let's look up something real quick. Now, we know that a lot of these rock stars, you know, uh, metal, you know, the ones that do metal, they're all a part of uh, this society. You know, when I say this society, I'm talking about this wicked uh, society. You know, they uh, part participate in, you know, uh, these uh, secret clubs for lack of better terms, he's throwing up the same symbol, you know, and look at the title, Gene Simmons wants to trademark devil horns, hand gesture, right, so they all do it, whether it's closed or open, some will say, well, his hand's not, uh, well, when it's closed, you know, uh, when, when the hand is closed, it's not demonic, look, it's the horns, either way it goes, and here goes another proof. This is Anton LaVey, which is known as being a, a, a Satan worshiper. Of course, he passed away, you know, and, and he's doing the same thing. He's doing up the same symbols. And he's a, you know, Satanist, you know, and he passed away. He's doing the same sim, uh, uh, signals, signs. All right. And here you have Kendrick doing the same thing. So you see who he gave his life to. He didn't give his life to the Lord after he found out that he was an Israelite. You know, hold on, pause this TV. It's, cause it's throwing off my concentration. So, yeah, he didn't, he wasn't reborn again, you know. And his righteousness uh, uh, will not be uh, remembered. And let me pull that up real quick. So this is Ezekiel 3, starting at verse um Let me see. Yeah, let me go to the King James. All right. This is Ezekiel 3 and 20. Again, when a righteous man do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because thou, excuse me, because thou has not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered, but his blood while I will cry at thy hand. So, you know, we're on the YouTube on the highways and byways telling our people to repent. We're telling them the reason why, right? We're not laying those stumbling blocks uh, up before them that they that they may uh, continue to uh, live in iniquity and, and, and sin, you know, starting with us here at Great Millstone, you know, men of valor, starting with our apostles and elders. We have not laid uh, a stumbling block in front of our brothers. And, and have them keep committing the same iniquity. Why? Because ultimately, their blood would be on our hands. 
you know. So we gave him a warning. Or he he done heard the gospel. His cousin is in uh, IUIC, you know. And, and I'm pretty sure he know about Great Millstone, you know. And, and men of valor. Because, you know, men of valor, they teach the same doctrine. And their brethren to Great Millstone. So anyway, let's keep going. <clears throat> Now, I read from, I forgot where I, where I asked you, I read the off, Matthew 6 <clears throat> and 23. Going into how no man can serve two masters. And he served, he already chose, you know, who, who he's going to serve. He had received his consolation. And mammon goes into money. So you can't serve the most high in money, you know, meaning wealth, you know, you, you, you do anything to, to obtain wealth, you know? Let's keep going because I want to make this long. Uh, do I got Matthew 6 twice? Oh, yeah, I do. Damn. No, hold on. It has something else I wanted. Yeah, I missed it. Salakia. Let me, let me exit off of that. Let me go back to this Matthew 6. It's before that. Yep, Matthew 6 and 19 says, hold on, let me see. I was going into, uh, yeah, anyways, Matthew 6 and 19, lay not up for yourselves treasure, treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. So like it. Ooh. So you're supposed to lay your treasures up in heaven. You know, and, and ultimately, when the spirit of the Lord is dealing with you, you know that the kingdom of heaven is the nation of Israel. All right. So you're supposed to lay your treasures up in heaven, which is which is surely uh, to come by the way of Yahweh sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, to redeem the elect. The one third of men and the children You want to be the hopeful elect because we don't know, you know, but we are ordered to do this work. You know, uh, be humble, you know, take this humility, right, for a short time, all right? Verse 20, but lay, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal, all right? So on this side, you know, shoot, you have riches, you have, you really don't have no money. You know, what you have on this side can be taken from you. And ultimately, we know that we're going to be tested with that in these last days. You know, if any man sh uh, shall seek to save his life, he shall lose it. And many of these rappers, athletes, artists, you know, uh, uh, they love this world. You know, they love the money, the fame, popularity, you know, and they'll do anything for it. And they don't care about the Lord and Savior. All right. Verse, uh, not verse. Let me exit off of that. Let's go 20. Got three more. Let me go to Matthew 19. Uh, I believe this goes into the rich man. And I don't want to read all of this. So let me see where I want to start. All right, so let me, let me see. Yeah, so let me start in Matthew 19 and 16. It says, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one going into the most high. That is the most high. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. And he said unto him, which, you know, he said unto Yahushua, which one? Yahushua said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Your neighbor that you're supposed to love is a fellow Israelite, a so-called black, Latino, Hispanic, Native American, and a brother, sister, uh, those are, that's from that, that's from those tribes, right? 
through their father lineage. All right. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh said to him, if thou will be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt uh, and, so can, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. But when the young man heard this, uh, heard that saying, he went away sorrowfully, uh, sorrowfully, for he had great possession, possessions. So this man was rich, you know, he was rich. Then said Yahweh shine to his disciples, very last saying to you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of the most uh them. So like it. That a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's gonna be very hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. Why? Because of covetousness, right? Uh a rich man don't he don't need saving. He got everything that, you know, his his Shit, he got everything that he could ask for, you know, and ultimately he would want this world to continue, you know, because with this doctrine, we teach that, you know, Babylon, the great America is going to be destroyed. You know, a Jacob's trouble happens. You're going to lose your possessions. You know, Esau Edom is going to uh, seek to take from you, you know, uh, uh, and, and when I say that, I'm talking about dealing with that chip. It's going to be, look, you take this chip or, or. Your family might pass, you know, we're going to take your car, your house, any of that, any of that. We're going to be faced with it, you know. Verse 25, when his disciples heard it, they were ex exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible, but with the Most High, all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. And follow thee. What shall we have therefore? And uh, uh, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the ones before them, to the brothers on down, we come in uh, uh, that same manner. Many things in this world we have forsaken, right? For Yahweh Shah. All right, for the, for the kingdom, you know, for the Heavenly Father, you know, we suffer just like. Uh, how the Lord suffered, you know. Verse twenty-eight, and Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, uh, verily, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne, of, uh, sit in the throne of His glory, ye also, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and we're in the midst of the regeneration. Of when Yahweh Shah is about to sit on his throne and his disciples that he was talking to back then are going to sit with him in the times to come, right along with the elect and the one third that believe on him. Verse 29 And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and, and shall inherit everlasting life. All right. And so many of these uh, athletes, artists, musicians, they haven't forsook anything. You know, either they, they sacrifice a loved one, you know, a, a mother, a sister to obtain that wealth. They haven't they haven't sacrificed nothing. They haven't been uh, outcast by their own people, you know. Verse 30, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Now, we use that for Esau Edom, but it's for you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latino, Spanish, Native Americans that have sold out. Y'all like unto the first on this side. You have the fame, glory, the money, cars, clothes, the the uh, the fat lifestyles, just like Esau Edom. So guess what? You're going to be last, just like Esau Edom in the kingdom of heaven. And when the Lord come back. All right. You won't be amongst the governing body of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's the truth. Because it's going to be an order. First Corinthians, come on now. First Corinthians 1 and uh, 
Salakia. And then, really, I can start at uh, 18, because this is like into foolishness when we preach, you know. But anyway, I get on with it. Um, I started verse 20, 1 Corinthians 1 and 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? And I believe a precept actually goes to uh, when the Lord was speaking with one of the uh, Pharisees. Matter of fact, let me let me see what book that is real quick. It was John 7 uh, and 48. Actually, let me start at 45. Uh, let me see. I, yeah, I started John 7, 45. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees. And they said unto him, Why have you not brought him to my Yahweh Shai? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. Then answered them, The Pharisees, are ye also deceived? So they was basically saying that Yahweh Shai was a devil and so forth, but the officers was, you know, they was in fear to take Yahweh Shah, because they're like, man, I haven't heard no other man speak like this, you know. Verse 48, have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? So you had other Israelites that believed on him, that believed on him but not the chief priests, the scribes, the Pharisees, right? Uh, let me see. Anyway, let me get on with it. Going back to 1 Corinthians one twenty, I'm going to read it back over. It says, where is the wise and where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world? And the wisdom of this world is foolishness, you know, to, to, to do anything for money, for fame, you know, and, and it's vain because you can't take it with you. What if a man shall, what's the scripture say? What if a man shall, uh, let me see, let me pull it up real quick. This is Mark uh, 8. And 36, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You know, because you can't get that back. Why? Because for, for the love of money, it's the root of all evil. Money is, is, is uh, well, I ain't going to say that. But basically with this world, when you gain the whole world, you gain fame, notoriety, and that money, you know? That, that money will, will begin to uh, mess with how you, it'll, it'll begin to mess with your spirit. I'm just going to say it like that. Because you're going to do anything to keep it, to access more of it, right? That pride, you know, I made it out the gutter. You know, you start saying shit like that. And you, instead of you being like, you know, not the Lord, you know, he He put me in this establishment. You know, he did this. You know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai did this. Like what King Solomon is doing. All you niggas get money and you don't look at the wisest king before you other niggas. Well, kings. I don't even say that. Salaki. You know, which is King Solomon. He had more wealth than all of you. And, and look how he did uh, uh, his money. Look how he, you know, look at how he uh, uh, served the Lord. You niggas is through. Let me go to verse 25, because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. Verse 26, this is the main uh, uh, scriptures I wanted to get into. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. So ultimately, Kendrick, my nigga, you was not called. And you know you wasn't called. 
you have not been chosen either. Verse 27, but the most High had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And the foolish things are, are us, us lowly men that the Lord had, had bestowed this gospel upon to teach and to confound uh, kings, rulers, right? And, and you everyday two-third niggas and speakers out there, all right? But the most high had chosen chosen the foolish things of the of the world to confound the wise, and the most high had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised had the most high chosen. Right? We are despised, the so called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, and our descendants, we are despised and hated. And here the Lord Gave us his wisdom, knowledge, understanding, set, set us up to be prophets. And what? Many of you are confounded. You you Edomites, you other nations, and you two-thirds, y'all are confounded. All right? And you're being condemned. You you, you two-thirds, we're, we're telling you to repent and turn back, or you're going to be destroyed. All right? And things which are not to bring to not things that are. All right? I keep reading that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Mashiach Yahusha, who of the Most High has made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glory, uh, glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. All right. Uh, this will be my last one. Let me see where I'm at. Uh, 2 Peter 2. Uh, let's see. And 20. I'm going down to 22. All right. For, for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So, Kendrick, you are you are worse than you was than you know before you came into the game, buddy. You know you are, you are way worse off, even with your music. In my opinion, if any, let's read it back over. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge, uh, it's like it, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Mashiach. So when we first came in, you were escaped by the pollutions of the world, by the different philosophies, right? Different uh, uh, lifestyles that you were living due to the pollutions of the world, certain foods you were eating, your way of thinking. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Mashiach, they are again entangled. So basically you had turned back. You you started... Uh, 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 being polluted again by certain things you was doing out in the world before you came into the truth, you know, even your mental first it starts with your mental, your mental, then it comes to physical. They are again entangled there and overcome. And many people have uh, uh, been overcome, you know, by the, by the pollutions in the world. You smoking your weed, doing your drugs, over drinking because drinking is not a sin. You know, it's how you do it. Uh, uh, adultery. You know, you being a, a sodomite, right? The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So you come into the truth and you know what's going to say it. Verse 21, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. So, a. Hey, it was better for, for Kendrick and many other niggas to not have known that they were Israelites because you're, you're worse off. You know, you are turned back to perdition. Destruction. Verse 22, but it is, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire, which is the pig. So you turn back to garbage and you're worse off before you knew about this gospel. Shalom.